great. Before I go ahead and introduce myself, I want you all to put your cameras on, show some respect, show some love to me, to our special guest, guest tonight. And I also want to see all of your beautiful faces. And yeah, let's go. Please put your camera on. Oh, let's go, Mille. Let's go, <laughs> my queen. Okay, so for you, for those who don't already know me, my name is Sarah. I am 19 years old. I'm currently living in Sudan, uh, but I am originally from Afghanistan, but I was born and raised in Iran, and I've also lived in Turkey. And, and then in Turkey, I, ha I have smuggled <laughs> from Turkey to Sweden and uh, I, have experienced, I have experienced a lot of dangerous things. I have experienced a lot of difficulties when I only was 11 years old. And uh, uh, I'm in the last year of the high school and I will be graduated in next week on Friday. So I'm so happy and <laughs> excited for being done with school. And that's something that I've been waiting for a lot. And I've been in iMastery Academy for over one and a half year. And since then, a lot of things have changed both in my life and my mind. And this is something that I'm gonna be talking about. And before I got started with iMastery Academy, I didn't have any idea. I didn't have, I, I didn't know anything about this kind of things called trading, network marketing, dropshipping, Bitcoin, crypto. I didn't know anything. And uh, to be honest, I don't even know why I got started, you know, but I think that Maybe the, the why could be that before I got started with iMastery Academy, I was so into in studying and I was so into school that I, 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 only, I only thought that only through school I could, only through school and university, I could build a bright future for my and my family. And I was so stressed, I was so sad, I was so depressed and overwhelmed because of school system that I think that maybe I was looking after something different without I even knew, you know? And right now I am a Platinum 2000 and I'm building in um, Persian market. And every, everyone in my family, everyone in my team is from Afghanistan. And I don't know how much you know about Afghanistan. I don't know uh, if you have heard about Afghanistan, but I think that you can do your own research. But Afghanistan is a country in Middle East that has been in war for 15, uh, for over 15 years. And everyone in my team is from Afghanistan and right now they are living outside of Afghanistan because they have moved from Afghanistan. And I also could say that everyone in my team, in my organization, is that um, they have the same story like me, you know, because all of us have uh, sm smuggled from a country to another country, uh, to Europe or America, you know, it doesn't matter where. And um, we all, we have experienced maybe not exact the, th the same things, but I'm sure that we all have experienced the same difficulties. And everyone in this, in, in this call that is Persian, um, they have built their life over again from zero in the last five to, uh, to six years in uh, a country that is not their country, you know? And the life situation in Afghanistan is really bad, especially for women. Uh, because, you know, girls are not even allowed to go to school, to work or to study. And um, they're not even uh, able to make their own decisions for their own life. And also they are treated like a robot. And something that I want to make clear is that our generation is not the first and only generation that has been in war uh, and in immigrant uh, I think we are in third or fourth generation um, that has been in war and uh, immigrants, you know, and this thing has happened a lot over and over again that everyone is calling us for the burnt generation, you know, a generation that is burnt that don't have anything. 
uh, for example, I didn't even had any pass or ID card to show my identity before I moved to Sweden. And uh, yeah, I, I want some more cameras because, because I saw that cameras was off. I want to see some more cameras. I want to see your beautiful faces. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's go. And uh, yeah, through this time, I've been in iMastery Academy. Uh, there was a lot of times when giving up was a better or not better was a easier option for me, but I didn't. I didn't give up because I understood that I'm Mastery Academy is literally for everyone. It doesn't matter what country you're coming from. It doesn't matter what nationality you have. It doesn't matter what skin color you have. It doesn't matter if you had good grades at school. It doesn't matter if you have uh, any school exam. It, it, it doesn't matter, okay? I'm Mastery Academy is literally for everyone. And the goal in iMastery Academy is not to be the best trader or be, to be the best network marketer, you know, because my goal in, in iMastery Academy is not to be the best network marketer or it's not to be uh, the best trader. Uh, but the power of iMastery Academy is that you can take iMastery Academy and use it as a tool to reach and get whatever you want and wherever you want. And I didn't give up because I, you know, I understood that in iMastery Academy, you can be whoever you want. Uh, you don't have to pretend, pretend that you're somebody else. And drop a fire in the chat if you have ever been in a uh, I am uh, convention. I must say, I must say Academy convention. It can be Barcelona, it can be USA, it can be wherever. And uh, for you who have been in any convention, yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> for you who have been in any convention, I think you already know that it, even the leaders, the top leaders in the academy, they're not the same, you know? They don't have the same skin colors, they don't speak the same languages, uh, they're not speaking in the same way, they're not acting the same way, they're not, you know, they're not dressing the same way, they're, all of them, are not even dressed with a suit. For example, Matthew Rosa is coming on, on the stage and speaking in front of 15,000 people with his Jordan sneakers and t-shirt. And that's something that we all have to, you know, appreciate to, to do something that you love to do and to, to being able to get where you want to be and also being yourself. You know, that's something that I appreciate a lot. That's something that I'm so happy and grateful and blessed for. And all I have to say is that don't take this opportunity for granted because there is absolutely no reason that is logic for you to give up. Because for us, for Persian people, for Persian market, everything is too difficult for us everything is extra difficult because we don't have any uh, persian educator on the go live we don't have any persian chairman we don't have any strong support from the academy we don't have anything but you know what the thing that we know is that every community has started from from somewhere for example germany germany hadn't you know germany hadn't any uh, go live educators they hadn't any uh, chairmen they they hadn't any success stories they hadn't any people that they were um impacting impacting over but right now they're exploding you know the whole ship in the whole company and they why because they have a lot of chairmen they have a lot of uh, go live educators they have a lot of success stories they have a lot of good traders they have a lot of goodness for marketers and that's why and that's because they didn't give up and they they weren't focusing on the problems they were focusing on the solutions and that's something that i think that morgan will uh, drop later but and you know when i see the german community when i see their development i see us in Persian team because right now okay it's right we don't have any uh, you know Persian Golov educator we don't have anything but I know that we in the future we in the close future we are gonna have Golov educators we are gonna have 
many success stories. We are going to have many chairmen and chairwomen, and we're not going to have only one Golov educator, not only one chairman. We're going to have a lot of Golov educators. We're going to have a lot of chairmen and chairwomen and success stories. It's already done. It's already written and it's already happened. Okay. It's already done. Yeah. And uh, for being there that I want to be, you know, for being there, for reaching to that level of success right now, I'm reaching out to a lot of successful people. I'm reaching out to a lot of chairmen and chairwomen and goal of educators because, because I want their support. I want their, you know, I need their help. And this is something that, you know, this is obviously that you have to ask for help because closed mouths don't get fed. This is something that we have learned back in the time. And something that I want to talk about is last Friday. Okay. Before I, before I tell you what last Friday happened, I want you all to, I don't know, write, write something in the chat because I want, I, I want to, I want to make sure that you all are awake, that you're not, <laughs> that you're not sleeping, that you're focused here. Yeah. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. The queen himself, it, herself is here on the line, but okay. So last Friday, it was 1 a.m. in the morning in Sweden. I don't even know why the hell I was awake. I don't even know where I, you know, I don't know where I found that courage from, but I just texted Morgan because, um, you know, I'm also in a uh, Sudan community, Swedish community, and Morgan had uh, hosted a call for us. And I was also there. I saw when, you know, I, I was, I was looking at her. I was like, holy shit this energy what 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 is this okay <laughs> you know and uh, I, I just sent her I just took a risk and you know I was like okay I'm just I'm just sending her a message I, I didn't even expected her to answer me okay I was like okay I can text her now and maybe in two or three hours or in two or three days maybe she will answer me okay and then when I texted her I, she answered me directly. Okay. She answered me directly. I was so shocked. I was like, I was like, what, what in the hell would a chairwoman 50 answer me so fast? Okay. And I chatted with her a lot. I wrote to her. She uh, asked me genuine, genuine questions. I, I, you know, I told her about my difficulties. I told her about my country. I told her about my issues. I told her about my community. I told her about what I want. I told about my dreams. I told her about my visions. I told about where I am right now and where I'm gonna be in the future. And you know, and you know what she said to me? She, she said, Sarah, from now on, when you texted me, you and your community will always have my support and my help. And I'm going to help you to reach wherever you want in your life. And this is something that was mind blowing because I'm absolutely aware that Morgan doesn't earn anything by helping me. And Morgan, Queen, you're literally someone, you, you are a clear example of someone who stands for people over profit because, because you don't care about the profit. You care about the people. You care about me. You care about my community. And this is something that I'm beyond, beyond, beyond grateful for. This is something that I, you know, I don't know, my, my tours is uh, soon running, but I'm happy and grateful for you to be here. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that you got to know me. I'm happy that you noticed me. I'm happy that my team is getting to know you. I'm so happy right now. I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying, but guys, Morgan is a young woman with so much strength and potential. Listen up. 
Listen, I'm gonna say something that is mind blowing. I I didn't I, I didn't know that, and when I, when I got to know that, I was like, what the fuck? How in the world? <laughs> Morgan get got introduced introduced to I Mastery Academy 2020, and after one year, she became a chairwoman 50. And she is impacting over 5,000 people's lives. I mean, that's something that is mind blowing. I don't know how, <laughs> how Morgan, how? And uh, yeah, she, she didn't just, she didn't only uh, retired her, herself, but only, uh, but also her mom. And that's why Morgan, that's why you're one of my role models. That's why you're one of my biggest mentors. That's why that from now on in my whole life, I'm gonna copy you. I'm gonna do whatever you're doing because what you're doing is powerful because what you're doing is something that I want, I want to desire. And yeah, the stage is yours, boss lady. And uh, thank you so much for being here and for your time. I think you can unmute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can we get some crowns in the chat for this queen look? If she would have kept talking, I would have started crying tears. <laughs> I would have started crying tears. Oh, oh I, my heart is beating right now. I, I uh, thank you. 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 Woo. Oh, man. I don't want to cry. Whew, that was um. Mm. That was that was really 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 touching. Um, I do care. I do care. I care. I care. I care a lot. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm coming back. <clears throat> um guys, proximity is key. Proximity is key. Mm. You guys are definitely connected to the right person. You have a you have a a good person. You have a good leader. You have a good leader. I'm not I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the young lady you guys just heard from. You know, when she texts me her story, I cry. Because we take, you know, we take for granted everything that we have. Ooh. We take for granted everything that we have access to. And we don't even consider the people that wish they had the things that we have. Um, and so you guys have a good leader. She didn't text me for herself. She texted me for her team. She didn't say, can you help me? She said, can you help my team? The people that's on my team. And then the more she told me, I just I kept saying, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. And the more she told me, you know, she didn't even have an Instagram. I couldn't even go see who she was. You know, I didn't know anything about her. And I think it was maybe like 2 a.m. where she was. It's maybe about 2 a.m. Um, and I told her, get on Zoom right now. I'm going to teach you whatever I could come up with in this time frame right now. I told her, get on Zoom. And I did a, an entire trade training 
and I gave her just everything that I knew. But she sat on the other side of the computer with a pen and a pad, and she took notes for hours. And I mean, you could see in her window, it was so late that the sun started to come up. And then I feel in my heart, she don't want to learn it for herself. Even though it can change her life, it can put her more dollars in her bank account. She want to learn it so she can teach her team, so she can teach her community, so she can make an impact in her country to women who don't have access to even get education. She, she want to be the educator for them. She want to be a source of hope for them. So you guys are, are in the hands of a good leader. Continue to follow her. I'll continue to follow her. I'll continue to learn from her. And uh, that night she cried and cried and cried. And I feel like her head was on my shoulder, even though we're a million miles apart. I, you know, I felt like all her tears were, were with me, but now, I mean, I'm just giving them all back to her. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm just, uh, I, I'm grateful for you, Queen. Uh, I am grateful for, for you, and you probably came to me thinking I was going to be a big difference to you and a huge help to you and your team, but you have tremendously blessed me. I am moved by you. I'm inspired by you. I am motivated by you. So guys, never take this type of leader for granted. However you can, send her love. It doesn't have to be money. A like is free on Instagram. A comment is free. The text, you pay the bill every month. So really the text message is free. So make sure you extend love back to her. Make sure you extend love back to her Woo! in whatever way you can, in whatever way you can. And I, I, you know, she kept talking and I'm in here trying to play my song and, you know, get crunked up, but the spirit, you know, it just, it moved. So, um, yeah, grateful for you, Queen. Thank you. Um, and then, you know, guys, I, I mean, I got a whole speech right here, but Whoo! Hold on, let me just get myself. <laughs> I came from church, and church was high. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm high right now, but let me calm down. Um, and so what we're going to cover and what we're going to talk about today, it's going to be on whatever you focus on, that's what's going to grow. Um, and I say this often, I say it almost every chance I get. You are where you are right now and you have everything that you have in your life right now because of the things you've been focused on. Your last three years of your life, all 30 years of your life, however, however old you are, you have what you have and you are where you are right now because that's what you focused on. So if you've been in a negative place, if you've been in a negative environment, if you have a negative bank account, it's because that's what you've been focused on. You will continue to have whatever you focus on. So you can start to change the trajectory of your life right now if you switch your focus to something else. What is it that you want? But once I shift my focus, I said, okay, I want $100,000 in my bank account. And I focused on that goal. I had never seen it. For 28 years in my life, I personally never witnessed my bank account or no one else's bank account that my eyes physically seen where it said 100,000 liquid. Like you can go to the bank and take out 100,000. I had never seen it. I, I mean, I worked three years and, and wasn't even halfway to 100000 in my bank account. So it wasn't possible. It wasn't tangible because I didn't know to focus on that because I had never had it. How could I even believe it was possible? But when I got in this space and I started to believe for it, I started to focus on it. I did it. And it didn't take 28 years. It took three months. 
and I've seen it physically in my bank account. I said, I, I said, the new car came out. I said, I, I want that car. I didn't know how I was going to get it. Didn't have the money to get it. But I don't know if I had the money or not, to be honest. I just never looked into the financials. I didn't feel like, or I didn't think it was possible. But then I wrote it down. I'm so happy and grateful now I have this vet. And then I started speaking it every single day. I said it every day. I said, the vet is on the way. The vet is on the way. I'm so happy and grateful now that the vet is going to show up in my driveway. I'm so happy and grateful now. It's, 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 it's on a truck. It's coming through through the city. Then don't know what city, but it's making its way to me. And I even expressed it so loud, I started telling it to my friends. To where they started even asking me, where's the vet? Where's the vet? Where's the vet? It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. And then somehow, someday, I got a phone call and it said, the vet is here. The dealership called. I didn't put an order in for it. I didn't call for it. I didn't text for it. They called me and they said, it's here. I didn't, I didn't know what color, didn't care, didn't know what make, model, didn't care. I just knew it was the 2022. And I went and I got it. Because that's what I started to focus on. That's what I put my mind to. So you have to ask yourself right now the question of the day. For the rest of the day, ask yourself, what is your mind set on? What is your mind, what is it set on? Is it set on you losing every single day? Is it set on you hitting your stop losses every single day? Is it set on your fear of becoming the best version of yourself? What is it set on? They say set it and forget it. See, they talking about money and they talking about trading. What if you set it and forget it on your mind, your goals, your desires, those things that you want? What if you set your mind to those things? Not just one thing. But those things. Answer it in chat. What, what do you want? Well, what do you what do you genuinely want? A lot of people don't even know what they want. A lot of you on this call right now, you may not admit it, but you don't even know specifically what you want. See, I didn't know I wanted a hundred thousand dollars liquid in my bank account. I just knew I wanted money. But you've got to know so that you can focus on it, you can set your mind to it, you can see it every day, hear it every day, speak it every day, touch it every day, so that it can become real here physically in life. I had to ask myself, and then this training may not be for everybody on this call, but I hope it's for one person because we're gonna have to take a deep dive. And in order to take a deep dive and fix what we have going on, we're going to have to be honest with ourselves. So be honest. If you don't want to put it in the chat, don't put it in the chat. Put it on your paper. How happy are you? We got shootings going on. We just came out of a pandemic. I feel like I'm living in twilight zones in a movie. I still have to wear a mask in church every Sunday. Church half full. No people in the congregation. I, 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 I mean... Stuff is happening around us every single day. So in the chat, if you can be 100% honest on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? Like genuinely happy. Like how happy are you? Five, I can be happier. Eight, five. Seven, think about this. Before you even respond to this next question, somebody said a four, somebody said a three. Before you even respond to this question, think about it. Think about your response, okay? Think about your response. If you came successful right now, your elite success, 
your definition of success, whatever it is. Or some of you guys are already successful. I don't, I don't count you guys out. So if you could be more successful than you already are right now, all your dreams, all your desires, almost like a fairy godmother or an angel or your sexy, big, fine, handsome boyfriend bought you a bag of goodies. And in this bag of goodies, everything you've ever wanted in your life was inside of that bag. Everything you wanted, everything you ever wrote down, you got somebody just, here you go, you can have it. With the mindset that you have right now, do you think you would be more happy? Happier than the number on the scale that you dropped in the chat? Yes or no? Two no's. Two no's. Somebody said yes. Two yeses. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes and no. I'm in the process of allowing my mind to scale to my dream. Like if I had it all now, I wouldn't know how to handle it. I'm not happy with me. It depends. Some, some, okay. Some, some. I feel like people are being honest. I feel like people are being honest. Happiness does not come overnight. Happiness is a state of being. You have to build to your level of happiness. Rich people, successful people, they kill themselves all the time. You guys know who Robin Williams is. Well, I, if you are successful and you have all the money in the world, you have all the success that one person ever dreamed of or desired, but you still do things like commit suicide. Why, why, why is this? Why, why do things of this nature occur? You're, you have everything in the world. Robin Williams, I've told this story before. Um, I, I, I mean, I grew up on Robin Williams. He said, I'm gonna run my own show. Some of you may know, some of you may be too young. It's called Mark and Mandy. And then he did that. Then he said, I'm going to run the number one show. I'm going to run it. I'm going to manage it. And then he did that. And then he said, I'm going to have a beautiful family. And then he did that. And then he said, I'm going to make more money than I can ever spend. And you guys can guess. And then he did that. And then he said, I am going to make movies. Anybody know Mrs. Doubtfire? Anybody ever seen Mrs. Doubtfire? I grew up on Mrs. Doubtfire. He did that. He even went as far as, watch this. I'm going to win an Academy Award for not even being funny. For not even being funny. And believe it or not, he did that. Everything he ever said that he was going to do, he did it. He made everybody else happy. Because he did those things for everybody else. And he himself, he was sick on the inside. If y'all don't know, Robin Williams committed suicide. He committed suicide, had everything in life, money, family, and he still committed, he still committed suicide. All the success in the world, guys, each I'm talking to everybody on this call, all the money in the world, if it was a hit of a button and transferred into your bank account today, right now, this minute, 
I don't care who you are, where you from, where you reside, who your parents are, it will not make you happy. He's not the only person who's lived at such a high level and attained all the things that they've ever wanted in life that committed suicide. So I need everybody right now to really just take a minute. Take a minute. You will write this down and take a minute when we get off the call or tomorrow in your free time. Define what success is for you. It, my level of success may not be your level of, of success. The things that I want in my life may not be what you want in your life, but you need to figure it out. What does it look like? And you've got to write it down. For me, my next goal or my next level of success is Chairman 100. 100,000 a month. I still say that. And I'm just like, that is just disgusting. Because I've got money right now that, that I, I don't even know where to put it. I don't even, I can't put it in the bank for what? But they're going to give me less than a half a percent. Why? Why am I going to go sit money in the bank? And it's, it's not going to grow. It's not going to invest. It's not going to flip. Send to Tia Bitcoin address. No. You, 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 it wouldn't make you happy, Tia. Petra. It would, my money wouldn't make you happy. It wouldn't. It wouldn't make you happy. I'm convinced of this. So, I, I, I you know, I spent the entire day yesterday. I was at a very hot park. It was supposed to be a water park. Once we got there, we found out that the water park was closed. And so we got to the, to the hot park, got to the hot park at 10 a.m. And we stayed there to six and it was hot. It was hot. I'm still exhausted from the heat that I, I took yesterday. It was hot. And I laughed the hardest I've ever laughed. I screamed the loudest I have ever screamed. Almost, I've never rode these roller coasters before. I, I, I never experienced this dip before. I was a kid in the candy store. I was with people who I genuinely love. Watch this. I had people that's in my trading family there with me. I had people that's in my immediate family there with me. I even had people that's in my second family, my extended family, my church family was also there. And these are people who, are, who I've made a decision to do life with. So those chairman 100 and 100,000 a month is my goal. That goal don't define who I am. My success don't define me. A anybody you following where I'm going? I find happiness in being me by becoming the best version of myself. I, in this season, I've watched a lot of people take their blessing and let it become a burden. I've watched people take the blessing that they have and turn their blessing into a burden. Your top chairman 100s, top chairman 250s, they, they were high income earners. They were above the top 10% individuals in the world. I've watched these blessings become burdens to them. I refuse. Because whatever we do is a result of our patterns, things that we're thinking, the things that we're feeling. I'm thinking and feeling positive things, positive things only. It's okay to invest your energy in those people that you love, in things that you love, but how about you don't forget about falling in love with you, being in love with yourself. My friends will tell you, Morgan, she loved her some Morgan. 
If it's anybody she could stand, she could stand her son Morgan. How do you feel about you? Do you genuinely love the person you are? Do you genuinely love the place that you're in? I have completely fallen in love with what I do. Are you in love with what you do? Are you in love with who you do it with? The people that you guys see me with every single day, I love these people. And, and these people build business with me. We, we, we've experienced pull back together. We've experienced trades together. I mean, golly, Kendall put me in an EA trade or EU trade that pulled back 300 pips. EA don't even move 300 pips in a day. He put me in a trade at a higher high. And I got in just because I like him. I knew it was in a higher high. But I love the people who I do it with. Therefore, I love who I do it for. The word says, seek and you shall find. I encourage each and every single one of you on this call with us today, right now. And this was not supposed to be an emotional call, but my goodness, the way she opened that call. I encourage you to become the best version of yourself. Because that's exactly where your happiness is. I can only speak from experience. It's not in the money. I got that. It's not in the cars. I got that. And it's not in the clothes. I got all the Gucci clothes. My closet look like a Gucci store. Sh clothes, shoes, those things are nice. But that's not where your happiness is. It may make you happy temporarily. We don't want temp temporary peace. We don't want temporary joy. We want a peace and a joy that surpass all understanding and that's in becoming the best version of yourself. The, the best way, the absolutely best way to inspire anybody, to inspire somebody is just to live your best life. I got people that want to sign up with me all the time because of the car I drive. I know what type of person you are. I know what you after, but there's opportunity there. I know where we can grow. Come on in. If you teach it more and you coach it, but we can grow and get rich together. Yeah, we can the right way. But how can you live? How can you genuinely live your best life if you don't know who you are? Do you know who you are? Be honest. Type it in the chat. Yes or no? Do you know who you are? Even I don't know. I don't know if I know who I am. Do you genuinely know from the inside of your gut who you are? Once you find out who you are, then you can start to live in your purpose. But if you don't have your happiness, you can't inspire, inspire someone else if you cannot inspire yourself. Some of you guys on the call, you're saying no, and you're building teams of people. How can you go and build someone else's house when the house you got is not in order? You not put together. You can't even uplift yourself. You can't even motivate yourself. Why are you building a team and a business of people? Yeah, you're going to find out who you are the minute you start trading. You're going to learn a lot about yourself. You, you, you building teams or, or you rebuilding teams of people, but you miserable all in yourself. You miserable all in your lonesome. And I, I just got to be here and I got to keep it real because I, I don't, if I don't do it, I don't know who else will do. I was there, guys. I, I used to be miserable. I used to be angry. I used to be dark. Some of y'all are there right now because of your circumstance, because of what you're experiencing, because of what you're going through. Give yourself permission to heal. And if you don't give yourself permission to heal, if you got any type of respect for me, I give you permission to heal. I get it. You're hungry. 
You're ready to contribute to the society. You're ready to learn, grow. You want to make a difference in the community, but you've got to heal you first. And when I say heal you, speak no negativity. See no negativity. Hear no negativity. Somebody come to me with some neck. Ah, I don't want to hear it. Get away. Some of us, we got a mission. If we got dreams that's bigger and larger than ourselves, we want to start to do it for other people. But you've got to heal you first. Once you heal you, then you can start to build. The build, it'll be so different. I build in peace. I don't build in frustration. I, I lost more stuff than, than the average person in my entire life. But I don't complain. I don't whine about it. I go heal. I call my healing, when I go heal, I call it Egypt. I won't go into the Bible. But I, when I go to my place of healing, I call it Egypt. I could be sitting right here in my bedroom. I say, I'm go. I tell them in the living room, I say, I'm going to Egypt. Going to my bedroom so I can heal myself. I went to church today and was a CEO, a businesswoman. Looked like she got it all together at church every Sunday. She is dressed from head to toe, hair always done, nails always in heels. You would never think, you would never think she go through anything. But when she got up there and she spoke today, she told her truth. And her truth was problem after problem after problem after problem. She didn't let her situation, her circumstance, determine her outcome. A lot of us, we use it as a way to, to stay in our problems, as a way to settle in her problems. Well, every problem that she came to and every problem that she faced since she was five years old, she, her house, you, you have to drive up to her house, go through the gates. Then when you drive up through the gates, it's a long driveway to get to the house. When you park the car, it's a long walk to the door to get in her house. Once you get in her house, I got to her door and she said, you have to take your shoes off. I got to take my shoes off? Why? I don't, people, I don't take my shoes off. I want to keep my shoes on. I think maybe I had mismatched socks on that day. This was a few years ago. Is so I didn't want to take my shoes off. But then she handed a big bucket of socks, all different colors, rich socks too, Ralph Lauren socks. I almost shut my whole blessing down. But when I walked into her house to see her house, that was my first time stepping in that type of environment. I shut that door. I shut off what my life could look like before I even walked in it. Some of y'all there right now. Shut it down. I was mad that she wanted to make me take my shoes off and I was mad for a long time. Some of y'all still got to heal from stuff in y'all past that y'all experienced in y'all past. This woman has changed my life and I've only maybe had four or five conversations with her because she looked like me. She talked like me. She got the same type of problems and experiences as me. I'm not no different. She not no different. She a human being. She put on her, her right shoe the same way I put on mine. Heal. Once you heal, your build will be different. Tony Robbins says, success is a result of good judgment. If you make good decisions, you will begin to start to become successful. So where does this judgment come from? Oftentimes, it comes from experience. Experience comes from bad judgment. You've got to fail. You've got to make a decision that I'm going to fail over and over and over again. I'm going to slap somebody in the face right now. I gave you a warning. Turn your ears off if you can't handle it. You have been experiencing yourself for 30 years, 40 years, some of y'all 50 years, however old you are on this call. And you think, you, you think listening to yourself 
has been the right course for you. You you think that's where you need to be. And you think that's the position that you need to be in. And it's not. Be honest in the chat right now. How do you think you've been judging yourself on a scale of one to 10? How do you think you've been judging yourself on a scale of one to 10? Too hard, eight, 10, seven, 10. Stop attempting to learn from your own experiences. Why don't you start to learn from people who has results? The young lady who put the call together, I can't say her name. I don't want to butcher, I don't want to butcher her name. I'm gonna call her Lady Z. But she said, I, I've got to seek people who have the type of results that I want. That's a hustler mentality. That's a go-getter mentality. Some of you, you just say, well, I'm gonna keep listening to myself for another 10 years. We're gonna keep getting the same results. Learn from people who have the type of results that you want. I hit big goals. And I mean, I mean I've, I've hit bigger goals than Chairman 50 at this point in my life. All I had to do was see it, see it one time. And, and when I hit these big goals, in my brain, I'm, I'm going, is, is that all? Is that it? Is, is that all it is? $10,000 a month used to be a lot of money to me. That, that used to be a big goal to me. Used to be. It used to be. But every time I hit a new goal now, I'm just like, what's next? Goals are important. Freedom is important. Vision is important. But you have to be happy. Any of my team on this call, they'll tell you if they, if they know anything about me, they know Courtney is happy. She's happy with who she is, what she had, and she was happy before she got it. She was happy before she got there. Some of you guys are miserable in your process right now, and you're frustrated and you're angry. You've got to find, you've got to dig what makes me happy right now, because I've got to seek that more, that while I'm going through this transition, I can find a way to stay happy through this journey. A lot of people, you changed who you are. Be who you are. I, I am who I am. I'm loud and I'm very loud unapologetically. If you can't take my screams, you've, you've just got to get away from me. It's okay to live in your truth. Well, Morgan, you got all this perseverance and, and where it comes from. It comes from education, guys. Reading books, learning from other people who have the results that I want. If I can't get to you physically or talk to you over the phone, it's people in books. They've already been where you want to go. I'm just a very optimistic, opt, 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 optimistic person. I said, well, well, Morgan, what you doing? I said, I'm building. I'm here. I'm not going. Well, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I don't care. The best of the best is going to happen because I got the favor over my life. My drive lately has just been falling in love with, with new people, the people that I'm keeping around me. And it's a genuine love. I don't just love them. I don't think. I believe they, they love me too. If they put up with me, they've got to love, they've got to love something about me. But I've fallen in love with adding value to people because so many people have done it for me. I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for the people who wrote those books. And it sounds like I know them. I don't know these people who wrote these books. I just know that their stories have been able to be a blessing to me so that I can be a blessing to other people. See, where we are and what we have right now, the world is changing so fast. It is, I mean, every day I look up, I'll be like, it's a new week. And every week I sleep less. Camille said today, I'm tired. I say, yo, oh, you be tired, but I'm not going to sleep. I'm tired too. That park was draining. I said, I'm not going to get in bed until eight o'clock. She said, I'm going to go to sleep after your car. I said, oh, I'm not going to sleep. I'm not going to sleep. But she's tempting me. I would love to be in my king size bed. I would love to be in my Victoria's seat. I'm not going to sleep. Because life is happening. Change is happening. 
So if, if you don't know whose you are, if you, if you don't you don't know who you belong to, then instead of you impressing or or encouraging the change, you're going with the change of the society that the demand is putting on your life. That means the society have chains on you. You bind it by chains and you just go flow wherever the world takes you because you don't have your own mind, because you don't have the ability to think. You have to find who you are. It's okay if you're there right now. Be there right now. That means there's room for opportunity and there's room for growth. But you've got to make the decision to find who you are, take back control of your mind so that you can start to control your life. Corrections are going to happen in the economy, in the world. It's been happening since we've been in the womb. I'm not moved. I'm ready for the corrections to happen so I can go in on real estate. I can go in more on real estate. I'm already approved for, for a million dollar property. I'm just, I want it to happen. I want, I'm ready. A lot of people are terrified and a lot of people are scared. Now, I'm going to get approval from the banks right now. So when it's time to make the transaction, I don't have to wait on that process. You guys understand that? But it's not for me. It's not because I'm spectacular. It's not because I'm different. It's not because I come from, from the best country or because I come from the best family or the best community. It's because I've got my mind stayed on the right things. I'm growing and I'm, I'm still evolving every single day. If you know who you are and you know where you want to go, the world can't change you. The world can't move you because you're in control. I, I'm not moved. I could not have said this maybe two, three, maybe three years ago. I couldn't have said none of this. I never thought I'd be speaking like this. I'd probably be in a very hostile situation right now. If it wasn't for me saying I've got to become the best version of myself, not saying I've got to have money right now before I do that, doing it in the process and enjoying the journey along the way. We've done nothing but print, print more money since 2008. We've done nothing but print more money. We've, we've put more ones and zeros in the computer system. So corrections are going to happen. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. It's no way to avoid it. And, and it's, it's shaking people up already, but it hasn't happened yet. So it has really shaken up the world. But, but if you get your mind together right now, if you get yourself ready right now, I'm only telling you where I come from. I'm only telling you what I've experienced. You think your, you think your problem is lack of money. You think your problem is, is lack of resource. You think it's a lack of contacts, people that you haven't met yet. It's your psychology. It's, it's your mind. It's what you're telling yourself. Change your mindset. Change your heart set. Tony Robbins says the ultimate resource is resourcefulness and human emotions. You know, human human emotions is, is what starts wars. That's that's what's going on in Ukraine right now. Do you guys know that? Have you guys studied that? If war is too deep for you, human emotions, that's that's how babies get here. It's, it starts, it starts there with your emotions. Divorce rate happens because of people, emotions. If you could just manage your emotions, you can start to you can start to manage your life versus allowing other people to manage you, to put you in a box. 
table, Morgan, what are you focused on? I focus on positive things only, not the drama. If I would have stopped to focus on all the drama that's happening right now, I wouldn't be here with y'all on the call. My focus is the right people, not people that have left the business. I'm focused on the people right now. I don't care if my team get any larger. If the people who's with me right now just get stronger, if they just get stronger financially, emotionally, spiritually, if they just get stronger, I'll be happy. I'll be on top of the world. I'm watching people become the best version of themselves just because they're in position, because they have access to the right people, because they started to read books. I got people texting me about books almost every day. I just, I get so emotional. Yeah, I've been on the emotional roller coaster lately. Everything, it, it starts with your focus on yourself. And you may think that's selfish, but you can't fix nobody and you can't heal nobody until you fix yourself. Once you fix yourself, you give everyone around you permission to automatically start fixing themselves. How do you lead? I take daily steps every day to focus on myself. I say my affirmations every single day. I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm trimming 100, earning 100,000 a month. My family is healthy. My bank account is 100, I mean, it's $1 million liquid. I say my affirmations every single day. It's going to happen and it's going to happen now. Over and over and over and over again. Because I've got to convince myself that all these big things that I want is, is, is it's doable. I personally develop audios, books. I mean, I've got books everywhere. My sister dropped a book on her story yesterday. It said 5 a.m. club. She posted a book that she was reading it. I broke her back. Not even 30 seconds later, I had the same book in my backpack as we were driving out to San Antonio, Texas. She said, are we in some, some sort of secret book club or something? Encourage yourself. I like spiritual music. You know, why are you always screaming so loud? Singing praise songs. That's how I encourage me. That's how I pick myself up. Get in the academy. Start to study. Start to, to watch the videos over and over and over again until it's in, embedded in your heart. Get your trading account together. Whatever it is for you, whatever you have to do, start to do it every single day. But you've got to do it for yourself first before you can position or put other people in a position to be able to do the same thing. How, how do you want to hold somebody accountable, but you won't even hold your own self account? The best version of yourself. The best version of me right now is only three years old. I've only been doing this thing for three years. Boy, me 10 years from now? How old am I? 31? Me at 41? Oh. Start over. Start now. I started over three years ago. When I got in this company, I finally learned what people meant by personally developing. I hated it because I thought it was just to inspire you for the moment. I wouldn't do bill calls for my team. It just never made sense, never made sense for me. But now we need it more than ever. Thinking back, I have more now than I have, have more now in the last three years of my life than I ever had in my 31 years of living. I don't mean physically, I don't mean the material stuff, but I mean mentally. I mean my mind, I've grown, I've changed, I've evolved, and I've done it for the better. Now I can stay encouraged through watching other people do it. I'm watching Millie, she's taking steps in the exact same direction. I don't even have to tell her what to do anymore. It's just like she know step after step after step. It starts with you. Everything starts with you. Becoming the absolute best version of yourself. I can't tell you what that is. You've got to go figure that out for yourself. But it can most definitely be done. So start to focus 
on how you can put that person together. I always say it to make it simple, and I'll close with this. Imagine one person. I don't know if you guys know know who. Let's just say you guys know who Eric Thomas is. Put a one in the chat if you know who Eric Thomas is. Okay, imagine that Eric Thomas. Imagine a, you guys know who David Amnitia is. Drop a two in the chat if you know who David Amnitia is. Number one belief coach, network marketing in the world. Imagine a Eric Thomas. Imagine a David Amnitia. Imagine a TD Jakes. You guys know who TD Jakes is. Put a 333 in the chat if you know who TD Jakes is. Imagine all of these three people wrapped in one person. All these different avenues wrapped up in one person. That could be what the best version of yourself look like. But you've got to put those pieces together. You, you've got to make that person come together. And it starts with healing yourself first. And then once you heal, it starts with building yourself so that you can be a bigger blessing to start helping and building other people. Guys, I hope this call has done something for you. I'm ready to get out of my feelings and my emotions, um, but it has been a blessing and a privilege to be here and serve you. Thank you for even allowing that to happen. Thank you to Queen Z for even making this possible. Look, you have my phone number. You're in my chats. I'll trade with you once a week. You know, whatever I can do to be, you know, a blessing to you guys, your community, what you guys stand for and what you guys are doing out there. You have my full heart. You have my full support, not only as a business partner, but as a sister, as a mentor, as a friend, whatever, whatever you need, Queen, I am here. So I'll pass it back over to you for you to close it out. Whew. And then we can go have a good day. Wow. I'm speechless. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Morgan. Thank you so much for all of the things that you dropped with us, with, with us in the Persian people. It means a lot for us because it's, it's not that many person who, it's not that many, you know, persons who talks about these kind of things because the, the things that you said, it's it's literally my big truth. I learned so much. I took so much notes. I hope that you all also did it. You know, I took I took so much notes and I'm so excited to go over them again and write them again and also sit in a one-on-one -on -one call with my business partners and teach them. This is mind-blowing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I'm also gonna share this in my social media so everyone else that is not in the team can also take part of this and uh, learn because, you know, it, it, if you know these things and if you apply it every single day in, in, in your life, you can, mm. you, you can reach to mm. what you want in life, you know? And it doesn't matter if it's trading, it's, it's, if it's business, if it's relationship, if it, anything, you, you can just use this and just, you know, have your, your life that you desire. Mm. And with that being said, I don't mean that I'm good um, in these things, you know, I also have a lot of things to, le to learn and also you, Morgan. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for you, for Mille, Camille, Mille. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I think <laughs> <it's fine. laughs> yeah, Camille. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. And thank you so much for your team to be here. You know, I, I was just swiping and seeing those beautiful pictures because they don't have their camera on but I saw them I was like oh what beautiful they are <laughs> and <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much for your energy for your words and you know the the way you're talking the way you're talking you're not talking with only your mouth you're talking your with your whole you know face and that's something that I admire so much and I also <laughs> want to be like that and thank you so much. I'm absolutely gonna write to you again, text you again. And I, because when you, 
when you were when you was talking <laughs> about this kind of things i was like okay I, i have to ask her how she did that you know so get ready i'm coming to you okay no you're problem gonna, you're gonna block me okay you're gonna block me you're gonna say sarah <laughs> <laughs> i won't block you i promise Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. And uh, you know, I'm gonna uh, switch uh, into Persian because I'm gonna say some kind of words uh, in okay, my language so that they okay. are, uh, also understand. So thank you so much again for being here for Morgan, for Camille, for Morgan's team. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. You know, <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> بچا قلبم داره تو تو میزنه این آهنگی که هست میگه زربان قلب من تو میزنه <تصفيق> واو بچا نگاه کنید من اشکام جمع شد نه نه فقط به خاطر اینکه اصلا مورگان اومد بلکه به خاطر اینکه بچا اصلا اون شب نمیدونم یه جوری بود که موقعی که من بهش پیام دادم اصلا مطمئن نبودم که قرار به من پیام بده و اینکه موقعی که جوابمو داد من خیلی استرس داشتم حتی یه جورایی فکر کردم گفتم این شاید خود مرگان نباشه شاید یه نفری باشه نمیدونم شاید مرگان نباشه شاید یه نفری باشه که نمیدونم به جای مرگان داره به من تکس میده و چون با من گفت یه کال بنیم به من انقدر کمک کرد انقدر استراتژی انقدر تیپس های مختلفی به من داد که اصلا یه جورایی نگاه کنید شب که میشه بعد میخواد صبح بشه هوا اینجوری میشه اینجوری شد که من رفتم خوابیدم تو اون موقع با من نشسته بود توی کال و اینکه تو اون موقع با شما تیپس میداد این حرفایی هم که زد واقعا خیلی عالی بود شما اگه کمکی لازم داشتین اینستاگرامشو دارین برین فالوش کنین برین اینستاگرام تاییش کنید بهش عشق ببرزین بهش رسپیک میشون بدین چون جوری که حالا معلومه جوری که حرف زدیم قرار نیست فقط این یک کالو با هم دیگه رفته باشیم قرار یه عالم کال با هم دیگه بریم خیلی ترینینگ های مختلفی هست یس yes, من خیلی دوست داشتم که بشینم این چیزایی که مورگان گفت و به فارسی بهتون بگم ولی همونطوری که میدونید یک گیوه وی داریم و واسه کسایی که بهترین نوتا رو گرفته باشن اوکی اند یا ثانک یو سو مچ دیانا فور یور کایند وردز ثانک یو سو مچ و اینکه کالا همین الان میبندیمش چون یک ساعت و 20 دقیقه شد و خیلی ممنون از کسایی که توی کال بودین خیلی ممنون از کسایی که کامرا زده بودین نوت فرداشتین و سعی بکنید که این چیزایی که نوشتین و این چیزایی که گوش کردین و فقط در حد نوت نمونه واسهتون فقط در حد نوشتن و شنیدن نباشه وسطتون بلکه واقعا ازشون استفاده بکنید بشید این تنهایی جلوی آینه با خودتون خلوت بکنید و در مورد این چیزو صحبت بکنید خیلی کمک میکنه بهتون اوکی و بیشتر از این طولش نمیدم امیدوارم که شب خوبی داشته باشین و شبتون بخیر پیس اوت ماچ لو تیک کیر اند چاو چاو